Kathy Riley was having a normal day until she wasn't. She suffered cardiac arrest at home two years ago. I was tired, but I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel like anything was not right. At the time, her husband Scott performed chest compression only CPR and helped save her life. I knew something had to be done. She wasn't, she wasn't right at all, and she was continuing to gasp. Bystanders can dramatically improve the odds of, of survival if they do immediate chest compressions. Dr. Bentley Bobro from the Arizona Department of Health Services and co-authors studied more than 5,000 out-of-hospital cardiac events statewide from January 2005 through December 2009. During that time, Arizona launched a public health campaign urging people to do chest compression only CPR on adults instead of conventional CPR with rescue breathing. The overall rate of bystanders doing some kind of CPR went up over the five years from 28% to 40 percent. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The type of bystander CPR changed dramatically from about 20 percent of the people doing compression-only CPR to 76 percent of the time they were doing compression-only CPR. The odds are it's going to be someone you know, someone you love, and you are not going to want to feel helpless. You are going to want to take action. Classes like these at the Scottsdale Fire Department were offered statewide, along with online training videos and media outreach. Okay. In the middle of the chest, get to work. Lock it, there you go. Lock him, come forward, go. And hospitals also helped by tracking the status of survivors. The vast majority of people who survived a cardiac arrest um, went home in good shape with their family, well over 80% of the time. You never really think about not being there for your kids until there's a chance that you're not and it just makes us all a little more appreciative. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.